Welcome everyone to another fantastic episode of our Star Author podcast where we dive uh, into the minds of young genius children and explore their creative endeavors. Today I am thrilled to introduce you to someone truly remarkable from Shahi Bhishan Singh Memorial School. Meet Ratan Singh, a 10th grade dynamo who has not only conquered the world of academics but has also delved into the realm of literature with his captivating book Simply Science. Ratan, it's an absolute pleasure to have you join us today. So I welcome you with a big heart to this show. Firstly, before starting it, I would like to say that a room without book is like a body without soul. First of okay. all, thank you, Bukhulda, for providing me opportunity to be a part of this interview. As informed mm -hmm. by ma'am, I am Rasul Singh, studying in grade 10, a student of Shahid Bishan Singh Memorial School. Now we yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's it's lovely that, you know, young children like you, they are writing such interesting, you know, uh, piece of work and they are working on such, you know, important subjects, which is actually the requirement of these days. So, I mean, this is like fabulous. So, I mean, um, okay, let's just, you know, start with a very, you know, uh, important question. First of all, what inspired you to write this book? I always like to experience new things. When a teacher informed us about this opportunity, I was like that I have to do it. And why not about science, my favorite subject? So I just choose to do it. Okay, cool. So let's go on to some funny side of your personality. So, I mean, what's the most adventurous thing you have ever eaten in your life? As of I remember, I have eaten a moment burger. As uh, described from the name, it had momo within it. Okay. Um, and how is it like? It's momo burger. So I think it's from Wow Momos? Yeah, actually. Okay. Um, okay. You might be thinking that how good it would taste, but it was <laughs> not at all. Okay. It was. <laughs> It had weird sauces and chutneys which ruined the taste completely. I have heard some good reviews about it, but I didn't like it at all. I believe Same that way. everybody has different taste. Yeah, yeah. So even I have tried their momos and, you know, I think their momo burgers also. But personally, I also didn't like that because I didn't find anything very interesting in their sauces, mayonnaise or any kind of stuffing which they do into it. So I personally didn't like that. But yes, uh, you aptly said that everybody has got their own, you know, likes and dislikes. So maybe others might like. Okay. Okay. If you could have any celebrity as your mentor, who would it be? I would like to say that um, if I would like to have a celebrity as my mentor, why a celebrity? A mentor could be any person who would inspire us throughout our journey. Okay. So as of now, I don't have any celebrity mentor. But uh, okay. whenever I have, I'll have any person as mentor who will be inspiring me throughout my journey or however that would be good for me. Okay, cool. Okay, if I believe that most of us do, you know, some of the tasks which we personally don't like. So if you could eliminate one work from your life forever, what would it be then? I would definitely undoubtedly say it would be studying history. Okay. I literally say that. It's a boring See? I remember. I remember I was in class 7, 8 and I literally used to cry by doing it. Okay. okay. What's your favorite thing about being a student? Uh, in spite of that, I would ever say being a student is my favorite thing. Okay. Um, all we need to do is study. When okay. we grow up, we come to develop some uh, stresses, tensions about the career, family, and whatnot. So being a student is good for me. Okay. Now, 
so i mean don't you think that you know when i was a student i had uh, i don't know but i had very unexpected anxieties like you know tomorrow i have got this history exam i have english exam so you know that kind of pressure sometimes you know students are unable to cope also so do you think that i mean you are good at coping all those pressures yeah sometimes it feels like uh, even if i have prepared really well but sometimes it uh, we have such a feeling that will be able to do it or not even i remember during my pre boards i was really stressed and after both the pre boards mm -hmm. when it uh, came the time for doing the board examination i was not at all tense i was really calm so sometimes it uh, happens like that we develop some stress and sometimes it happens that we are completely free stress mm -hmm. okay cool so let's have some fire round questions uh, so you like comedy or horror movies i like both depending on the mood both okay depending on the mood that's a good one okay and uh, you like beach vacation or mountain retreat mountain vacation okay you like pizza or cheeseburger um pizza okay obviously after hearing your experience about yeah. the adventurous momo yeah. burger you <laughs> okay no shall we just continue after one minute okay so you like sneakers or sandals um sneakers okay and what's your uh, favorite ice cream flavor if you like ice creams um for cone i would say that's choco vanilla and for ice cream bricks or something like that that would be uh, choco chip okay choco chip okay you like summers or winters neither summer nor winter i like the midway weather like of these seven days march april you know spring or autumn okay cool you like netflix binge or outdoor adventure what do you like i like outdoor adventure okay okay you don't you don't do binge watching like you know like most of the people are doing these days no i don't do it much good impressive okay you are a tea person or a coffee person or a dairy person um coffee person that to not uh, very much i drink coffee very often very often okay what's the last book you read um it was the magic of the lost temple by sudha mosti that was very good i really so enjoyed the... reading mm -hmm. yeah. she is a she is a wonderful writer i mean sudha mosti i really have a lot of respect for her the way she writes i mean the kind of you know the things and the pieces of very elements which she introduces into her writing i think they are impressive very impressive i really just love the book it has a very much suspense huh okay yeah. okay any message for our viewers please encourage your hobby follow your favorite subject all you need to do is to gain some confidence as much confident you will be the more you will be like oh, i need to follow that uh, hobby or i need to go in that line so confidence is key okay and talking about my book that a must to do if you uh, cannot do science from the main book i know ncert books are not enough to understand the concept simply science mm -hmm. will clear all your doubts if i get a good response for simply science we will be making a, another part for the class 10th only second term book mm -hmm. okay cool okay anything else you want to say um except this i would say that if you think science is difficult you are wrong science is very easy uh the source which you are studying from that might be difficult but science is uh, very easy okay 
<laughs> yeah, most of the you know students they find science. Even I, if I talk about my own personal experience, so I found science subject as a subject it was quite difficult for me. But the way I mean, you know, when your faculties and teachers they explain you the concepts, so they make it much easier to grasp the concepts. So it actually depends the kind of you know the teachers how they explain it to you. So I think uh, that's super important. So yeah, yes, I mean, that science is easy. It's a good motivational message for everyone who is watching this. Okay. Okay, everyone, it's time to wrap up the session now. And uh, <clears throat> Ratan, thank you so much for sharing your insights, your humor, and your passion for science with us today. And we wish you continued success with your book, Simply Science, and all your future endeavors. To our viewers, do check out his book available on Bookalooza's bookstore. And the link of the book is given in the description box below. Until next time, be happy and enjoy life. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ratan. Thank you.